Anita and Nate, today you enter here as individuals, but you will leave as husband and wife, blending your lives, expanding family ties, and embarking upon the grandest adventures of human interactions. For the story of your lives together is still ahead of you, and it is yours to write together. But marriage is also founded upon sincerity and understanding, which will lead you to tolerance, confidence, and trust. It will involve respect for each other's feelings, your weaknesses, and your faults. And you believe that those qualities which have attracted you both to each other can now be best developed during a life that is spent together. A happy marriage will enable you both to establish a home with much love and stability, where family and friends will always be welcomed and which will be a base of the influence of your shared and we hope strengthening life may extend. And every day that you learn to live together, receive your love with as much understanding as you can give it. Find things within yourselves and you can share them with each other. Do not fear this love. Have an open heart and a sincere mind. Be interested in each other's happiness. Be constant and be consistent with your love. From this will come security and strength. For all that we love deeply will become a part of us on this day of your marriage. So today you both come here to commit yourselves fully and freely with each other. But real love in marriage is also something that is beyond the warmth, the excitement and romance of being deeply in love. It is also as much of the welfare and happiness of your marriage partners about your own. Because real love is not being absorbed in one another. Love will make burdens lighter because you will divide them. It will make your joys more intense because you will share them together as one. It will make you both stronger so you can reach out and become involved with life in many ways you never dare to risk alone. Because true marriage is more than just joining the bonds of marriage of two persons. It is a union of hearts. It will live on the love that you give each other and it will never grow old and it will thrive on the joys of each new day. Because this marriage is love, may you always be there for one another, to talk things over, to confide in each other, to laugh with each other, to enjoy this life together as a family, and to even share those moments of quiet and peace when those long, long days are finally over. May you all be blessed with a lifetime of happiness and a home that is full of love, warmth, and one of understanding. Because a harmonious wedded life is a precious gain to both man and woman. And even though marriage increases the scope of responsibilities, it will add the dimension of love to life, giving it meaning and purpose. So on this day, Anita and Nate, this day of your marriage, you stand somewhat apart from us as a symbol of this open expression of your love. And this is as it should be. Because love is not meant to be the possession of two people alone. Rather, love should always be the source of a common energy which will give you both the strength to live your lives with joy, with happiness, with courage. So now, I ask Jada to please come up. I believe we have some vows or some beautiful words you'd like to share with us today. Yeah. I can't believe this day is finally right. I'm so happy that you found a man that loves you so as much as I do. I hope you will be very happy together. Thank you. Today is a day of the rest of your lives. I'm so happy for you. Thank you for loving me and my mom. I'm so glad my mom found a man that would treat her like a queen. I hope you all will be happy together. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hold on right there, okay? We'll get those rings on in here shortly. Join your hands together one more time. So now before you are joined in marriage, and thank you, Jada, for those beautiful words, I am now to remind you both of the solemn and enduring nature of this relationship that is marriage. So I ask you, Nate, will you take Anita to be your lawfully wedded wife from this day forward, to have and to hold, and forsaking all others for better and for worse, for richer and poor, in sickness and in health, to love and cherish her for so long as you both shall live. I do. And do you, Anita, take Nate to be your lawfully wedded husband 
From this day forward, to have and to hold, in forsaking all others, for better and for worse, for richer and poor, in sickness and in health, to love and cherish him for so long as you both shall live. I do. May we please have our rings, ma'am. Perfect, thank you, ma'am. So now, oh, go ahead, yeah, perfect. Let me borrow your rings real quick. Perfect, join your hands together one more time, you two. So now I ask that God bless these rings that you'll exchange as symbols of your love and fidelity. May these rings be blessed as symbols of your affectionate union. For your two lives are now joined in one unbroken circle. And wherever these rings go, may they always return to one another in their unity. May these two find in each other the love for which all men and women yearn. May you grow in understanding and in compassion with one another. And may the home you establish together, many of us will always find a friend. May these rings be symbols of the love you share with each other in your hearts. Nate, will you please take her ring? I have you extend your finger, please, Anita. Nate, in placing this ring on Anita's finger, please repeat after me. Anita, with this ring. Anita, with this ring. I be wed. I be wed. With all I am. With all I am. And all I have. And all I have. I honor you. I honor you. Go ahead, sir, put it on. In placing this ring on Nate's finger, please repeat after me. Nate, with this ring. Nate, with this ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. With all I am. All I am. And all I have. And all I have. I honor you. I honor you. Beautiful. Jada, will you do us the honor of tying this knot around their hands, please? Let me borrow those flowers. Perfect. Go ahead and hold your hands together, you two. Bind them together. There you go. So what you want to do, you two, is cross them like as an X. There you go. Now you'll put it over the whole thing. Yeah. There you go. I know it's long. And down. Okay, let us even it out. Go ahead and even it out the bottom. Perfect. Okay, so now what we're going to do is you're going to make an X at the very top. Very good. Go ahead and bring them all the way around. I know it's tricky. Perfect. Very good. Hold them a little tighter, you two. Okay, Jada, so this is what you're going to do, okay? You're going to go ahead and just wrap them both all the way around together through the center, okay? There you go. You're doing fine. Oh, no, no, all the way around. There you go. Perfect. Each one of those, bind them together. It's like you're tying their hands together in a knot. <laughs> there you go. Keep on wrapping it. There you, go. Hey, you want me to help you? Yeah. Here, look. This is how we do it. <laughs> All right. So keep on going. Bring it over. Yeah. There you go, Jada. Very nice. <laughs> there you go. Hold that right there. Let me bring it one more time. Hold on. You're going to tie a little knot, okay? So perfect. Now bring it down and just tie a little knot and let it hang, okay? Tighten it a little bit. There. Perfect. Now let it hang right there. Thank you, Miss Jane. Good job. There you go. Perfect. Here you go, ma'am. Perfect. Anita and Nate, may God bless this cord, which symbolizes an infinite bond that you share, an infinite love that you will share. It keeps your relationship strong in the face of adversity, as well as you are both no, no longer two, but now you are one in marriage and family. May this cord remind you to face your lives together courageously, to be in mutual support of each other and your family, and in carrying out your duties and responsibilities as a couple. May your love grow stronger and bind you together throughout the many years to come. And we would ask that you always treat yourselves and each other with respect. Remind yourselves often of what brought you to this day together. So in acknowledgement of this holy purpose, the power of today's grand occasion, let us now bless this union in marriage. 
Let us bow our heads, you two. Let us bow our heads for a small prayer. Dear Father in heaven, as we come before your throne with our offering of this love, we ask you to bless this union of marriage and family. For today we present to you Anita and Nate, who come this day to be married. May the covenants of love they make be blessed with true devotion and spiritual commitment. For we ask that you, God, give them the ability to keep the promises they have made here today. When selfishness shows itself, grant generosity. When mistrust is a temptation, give them moral strength. When there is misunderstanding, give patience and gentleness their connection deserves. If suffering becomes a part of their lives, give them the strongest faith and an abiding love. For we pray that you will be the third strand that will bind them together and can never be broken. May you be the guiding light that is shining on their chosen path of their lifelong commitment to each other and you. Amen. Amen. Jada, come on over. And just hold all of these in the middle and let them slip their hands out, okay? There you go. Put your... uh, all together, you're doing great. <laughs> you tied them up pretty good. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. You got it? There you go. Join your hands together, you two. We're at the home stretch, Nate. Don't worry. <laughs> Anita and Nate. Today you had vowed to love, remain steadfast and loyal to one another. As you stand here before friends and family, you have now sanctified this bond by the exchange of vows and rings. May the love you share be eternal and undying. And as you both begin this married life together, hold close to you the words in which you have spoken to each other here today. For life isn't always the easiest road as we all come to know. So rely on your faith and the promises you made here today to help you through those times. Ask God to grant you both the gifts of caring and understanding in your lives together, allowing that each of you may be to the other a source of strength and need, a counselor in times of uncertainty, a comfort in times of sorrow, and a companion in all of your joys and victories together. You have consented together in marriage before us, and you have pledged your faith and declared your unity, and you are now joined in mutual esteem and devotion. For what God hath here joined together, let no man set us under. So now, by the authority vested in me, by the great state of Texas, I now pronounce you to be husband and wife. You may kiss your bride, Nate. <laughs> perfect, perfect. Jada, let us get the flowers back to this lovely bride, please, to Miss Anita. And all of you go ahead and get together and face these beautiful cameras. It is now my great honor to be the first to present Mr. and Miss Nate and Anita Lawson, everybody.